right, so it's the summit of July 2020 and I'm here with Tim and Sophie and I've known Sophie for about seven years, but I only really got close to her four years ago and I've known Tim five years, like through a friend. Yeah, yeah. through a friend. Um, Not this friend. Yeah, I'm going to interview them today on the virus. Well, just before Covid started and everything was locked down, I just had an operation to um, help me be more mobile and it seemed that as soon as I was starting to be able to get out of the house again, Covid hit and I'm quite vulnerable due to a lot of my health concerns and so it went from finally having freedom again to, to being locked inside for, for three months solid without any outside interaction. And it was just really tough to to have basically completely cut off from everybody. When I had just finally got back out after at least a year of being stuck in the house before. So it was it was a bit like being punched in the face. With the lockdown, obviously there were bad points, as I've already said, but there are definitely some good points. I found that recently especially, I've been able to connect with one of my brothers loads. He lives quite far away and I don't often get to see him, my brother or my dad because they live all the way in Chester and obviously I'm here in Oxford. So recently he reached out to me and asked if I wanted to play a game online with him. And we started playing together and talking to each other while we play and it just feels like our relationship has gotten so much better and so much stronger. And I don't know if the Covid lockdown hadn't happened whether we would actually be still be doing that. So although COVID is horrible and the lockdown has been horrific, it's been really nice to, to get to know my brother more. And I've been staying at home, obviously, but we've had barbecues in the garden, which we might not have had, had we been going out. You know, we've been spending time with all our animals more and giving them more love. And I think they've all really blossomed from us being there. And Although I personally feel that the government handled it absolutely horrifically. I mean, they were way too slow with the uptake and, you know, it wasn't until recently that they even started banning flights. You know, even with all of the messing around and the lockdown being ridiculous, I do feel that people have banded together more and we've learned to appreciate the NHS so much more than we would have if there hadn't been COVID and the lockdown hadn't happened. During lockdown, the days get fairly similar to each other. They all kind of meld into one. I mean, I would get up at about seven and, you know, to have some breakfast and stuff. And quite often there wouldn't be any point in staying up for the morning because, you know, I can't leave the house. There's nothing to do. So I would quite often end up going back to bed in the morning just because there was nothing to do. And then I'd get up again just before lunch and it would basically just be sitting in front of the telly. Luckily, a while before lockdown, we got a treadmill and I managed to put that up. So thankfully, I need to get a bit of exercise during my day. So, you know, at least I'm not stuck doing nothing at all and wasting away and going back on all the progress I've made since my operation. But again, like afterwards, most of all just sat in front of the telly, which is, which is so dull and monotonous, and just watching the news, and then maybe going in the garden. But honestly, with lockdown, the the days have been fairly dull. I don't know anyone that's had the virus yet. Um, my dad works on the front line, so I know that he has seen a lot of people. You know, he sent me a photo of him in all the get up, all the protective, you know, PPE. And it's insane. And, you know, he's been around people that have died from the virus. And, I mean, luckily, no one in my family's got it yet. But my grandparents have had to social distance. One of my cousins just had a baby. So obviously they're having to be careful because of COVID. Again, it's it's just a really bad situation. Victoria Beckham. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> no one else gets when we talk gibberish, honestly. I don't understand. There's not much to think about. 
It's literally just making. They think I'm some weird human. I'm a bit of a weird penguin. <laughs> like, <laughs> at least they know you're human. They don't worry that you're a penguin in disguise or, you know, a very evil koala. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, so I did interview Tim, although I thought that the interview I did on him a few weeks earlier was much better. There's just a few sound problems, so forgive me for that. <laughs> oh, it's good seeing you, Carl. I've missed you. And, um, thanks yeah. for letting me come to you around your garden. Uh, <laughs> lockdown's been pretty difficult at the minute. Work's been affected, pubs closed. I've got a job at Domino's delivering pizzas at the minute. It's good that you still get to stay with your family and everything, you know, with those parties. So you get to have family meals and watch movies with them. Still have the odd argument now and then. <laughs> <laughs> and the yeah. lockdown, lockdown's going to pretty much continue till maybe August, September. Who knows, it's up to the government to decide what's going to happen. And. Yeah, well. I don't know anyone who's had the virus. Not that I know of anyway. Yeah. And apart from that, I can't, go, can't even go on holiday. So, so obviously there's good and bad bits. Um, obviously our lockdown's getting used much more slowly than Europe and other countries like France. You know, almost going back to normality. Well, the good thing is Bob's already been up on the 4th of July again. So hopefully I'll be able to get some work and some work in a pub. And then my other boss has said that uh, music venues might open up in the end of August. They might get some music work, which would be fun. So be missing it. Thank you so much for watching guys and please subscribe if you haven't already.